Hey guys, what's up? It's Gaming Kids 23 again. Uh, sorry if I've not been putting any videos lately. Uh, well, I have been putting videos lately, but uh, I wasn't commentating them. And yeah, I'm here and I'm showing you guys a background that looks like kind of like this. Uh, it's a graffiti, and I've been uh getting a lot of uh requests to make a graffiti uh wallpaper but it's not gonna be this it's gonna be this one uh we have this nice blurry texture and uh graffiti text on the back on like the text right here and we have this nice little uh background on the back and it says designed by Aaron uh, and that's my name and yeah uh we're gonna be doing that so yeah let's get started uh we want first you wanna open Cinema 4D, and then change. This is what I do first. Uh, I want to go to output to my render setting and change it to 1280 by 720. So I, I don't need to work for that later. And zoom out a little bit. Uh, uh, and mode text. Then change the deg uh, ch rotate it 45 degrees. Just change it right there. And make it middle and uh just change it to your name or something uh for this I'm just gonna put tutorial but I already have done one and I don't wanna render this out again I'm just uh showing you guys how to make it but I'm not actually using this and uh you wanna go to fillet cap fillet cap and change it three change the step to 3 and radius to 2 and do the same thing on the bottom 3 and 2 and then now what you want to do and wait what 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 makes uh what that do is it just makes like uh make the edges like uh round and change the font to and you will need to download this uh just I, I don't like showing people to download stuff because uh for YouTube co uh, like I don't want to show people doing stuff uh, I might get like a strike or something so d just search it on Google or something and it's called race one original and just press OK and then now you have this nice text and you wanna just click on mo text and click on C and just open it up until you see this and take tutorial and drag it out of that and just delete the mode text and now what you want to do is just click on this rotation and then just rotate it to whatever you want um, whichever direction you want it doesn't really matter uh, just messing around with it you can play around with it more but uh this is just uh tutorial purposes and you want if you have this night uh if you have these gaps right here just make them a little bit together uh there you go starting to look nice There you go, and now you wanna just dr get. Oh wait, no, never mind. You just. Oh hey, let me think about this. You don't need to put anything. Just put like uh. Let's see. Yeah, like right here, nearly white, but don't make it white, like a light gray. And uh, you wanna add a reflection. For now. Make it this to thirty, and this one to like 50 or so 45 to 50 and just drag it on that oh crap and uh, you want to drag it to all of them to make this easy just hold control and then click on this and just drag it to one another oh crap there you go now if you render it out it's just like a normal text but we'll, if you don't have a uh, grayscale gorilla, um, 
if you do have grayscale gorilla what you want to do is go to content browser and if you don't have it I will, sh I will do that for you guys for grayscale gorilla just click on softbox cinema 4d or overhead softbox but I'm not using that because I want people to do what I'm doing and I don't want them leaving my, my this video because they don't have the stuff so I'm just gonna do it manually so you you just want to get a plane and then you see that yellow orange circle over there just drag it out like that and then put it on the bottom oh you know what uh delete that oh just delete that sorry and just add a plane um rotate it like this and you want to rotate it like right here click on this and put 50 and then just drag it like that make it a little bit bigger and you want to copy that oh my gosh uh, you want to copy it control C control V and oh you know what don't copy it just make a new one and then rotate it again like in front of like the same thing as the text and uh, you want to make it negative 50 this time so face is that way and you want to uh, see and make it a little bit bigger try to make it the same as the first one there you go and now what you want to do just make another material and check off color and just add luminance and make this 250 then just drag it to your planes and then now what you want to do just click on this just click on plane one and then hold shift and click on it and then just go right click and go to cinema 4d tags compositing scene by camera and then check off scene by reflection and then oh maybe I could just make uh, another one add another plane uh, and then this time it's gonna be up top put it up top there you go and then just add it there and do this just click on this one and then contr hold control and drag it up here uh, that's that do that will do the same thing so when you render this out you have this nice looking reflection and for that that's pretty much it guys uh, for cinema 40 ambient occlusion and global illumination and best go to 2x2 two two. Um, make sure it's PNG and it's alpha channel and output there you go I'll make this a hundred you can make that a hundred but if you have a slow computer you just don't oh wait I did that wrong it's global illumination there you go and yeah that's pretty much it and then just click on this to render it and yeah guys uh, when you're done rendering with that well, of course, it's not going to be this quick, but when you're done, like E or something, and then just go to Photoshop, go to File, New. I'll change it to your screen resolution, like mine is, uh, I'm using a laptop, and it, the, the screen is 1366 1, by 768, and press OK. And then you want to click on this, and yeah, just click on this, then get the paint bucket tool, and then just put it in there and now what you want to do just click on this uh, click on the switch go to your brush and make sure this the hardness is zero and the master diameter is a uh, thousand and just put it in the middle there you go and uh, go to your whoa go to your um, layers and change the opacity to 30 
Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. I did that wrong. <sighs> Crap. Just do the same thing. Make sure it's transparency. Transparent. Then go to here and click make it black and switch. Get your brush. Do the same thing. Just put it in the middle. Now, what you want to do is make it 30. What? Why do I keep on messing up on this? Oh, I, I know what I, I did wrong. I'm sorry again. I'm sorry if I'm messing up. Um, <sighs> do the same thing. I know, I'm so sorry guys. If I keep on messing up. Just do the same thing. Never mind, don't do that. That's what I did wrong. You want to create a new layer by clicking on this, and then you want to click on your brush, and now that it, it should work. Now change the opacity to about 30. And just click on this, and uh, you will need some textures on this, and... It will be on the description, the download description. Uh, for this one, I will just look for my uh, GFX bags. Uh, so yeah, uh, bear with me while I'm looking for it. It's not, it's not really. Uh, I'm I'm getting closer. I can feel it. Oh, where is it? Where is it? My gosh. Oh crap. Where is that crap? my gosh I do not know where it is mm -hmm. I guess I was wrong feeling it there you go, it's Grunge 10. Okay, so when you guys download it and stuff, and it's a rare, uh, a raw file, and if you when you guys download it, uh, you will have this thing on it. Uh, it has a color, but you don't want that, so you want to click on Control Shift U. Then you want to just drag it out of that. Then just put it here, add it to your uh normal tech uh normal thing and you wanna put you wanna add it overlay and you will have that nice looking and just make it like that the opacity hundred and control J. So I'll duplicate it and make this uh twenty. There you go. And when you're done, we, uh, this is where we put the text. So you you want to go where you saved it. Mine is on my uh. Is it this one? No. Crap. Better better be saved. Oh my gosh. Here you go. There you go. This is the old one I made. Just drag it here.
put it in the middle. Mine is being slow because I'm recording it. Uh, but it's not this slow. Okay, um, when that's done, just I'm gonna have another text for you guys, and you, it will be all the stuff you'll need are gonna be in the description. And um, let me see if it's oh, it's right. It's probably there. You go. Okay. Uh, when you have that, just take it, drag it out of there, and put it here. Okay, here's the a little bit tricky part of it. Not really, but okay. Here's the tricky part of it. You want to hold Alt, and then when you see that uh little thing that makes uh like right put your mouse between your text and this texture and it will have this thing pop up and just click on it and then now you have this nice looking uh uh material on your text so what you want to do now is uh wait 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 or oh, you want to go to uh, adjustment adjustment right here and then click on gradient map and you it will be black and white and we don't want that so click on this and you wanna click on this one right here and change the mode to uh, you wanna change it to vivid light and I think this will make it overlay and I think you wanna lower the opacity Make it to 31. There you go. And um, let me see the picture again. Wait, let me. Be oh wait. I think this is it. Yeah, guys. Uh, this is the text. And if you want, just add a text right here. Click on text on your um things and uh make sure it's the same font as the original and make it uh uh, uh like the uh I forgot what it's called but just make it twenty four. Make sure it's black. Uh and then just put designed by and then your name the same thing the same thing you put over here mine is Aaron and I want to change the thing a little bit too mm, just put it like right here there you go um yeah guys this is pretty much it and yeah, um, if you guys want any tutorial or anything request you want, just tell me. And to save this and make it your profile, just go to save for web and devices and make sure it's JPEG. And just save it to wherever you want and you'll have a nice looking wallpaper just like me. And yeah guys, thanks for watching. Peace out. Bye.